Hey, buddy, welcome to something. This is Ashton, joined by the Enterprise and Jasmine. Hello. Hey. Hello. We are playing some some new life. There's a new superhero update. Uh, Stoked. I haven't looked at any of the stuff. I really I wanted to. I intended to do some grinding ahead of time so I could be all fancy. But, you know, we'll just all be surprised together. Let's see here. Superhero world play. Creepy. Play. All right, 2976. Oh, this is a cute car. Oh, neat. This... The little like wolf mobile yeah. and the drill thing. Yeah, I'll show is this everyone. Is like a moth? The new stuff, there's a, yeah, the little wolf or fox car, I think it is, because there's a fox character. Um, mm -hmm. Look down here. <laughs> I like the super villain, the moth man. Um, moth monster man. Moth monster man. Oh, that is cute. And there's like a foxy. Oh, well, I think we know who Anna will be. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's Maybe? like literally no, Sailor there's, Moon. <laughs> there's no red hair though, you know? So it's all it's all just for naught. Um, anyway, I'm going to be Willy Wonka supervillain. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. But with the drill I can, car. I can be the fox man. I assume, Jesse, you wanted to be the evil one, it sounded like. No, I'm the gnome. Oh, you're the gnome? All right, well, then I'll be the fox man. Fox is great. David the evil gnome. <laughs> Uh, and then yeah, a handful more portrait things. I think like like David all the, the DLCs, average, no. uh, after you've completed enough like portraits and puzzle pieces and stuff, then uh, you get to unlock the other character. Because I think there's another like, just oh yeah, there's always more. There's always a couple more vehicles. I think I've characters. seen the picture of it. Kind of just like looks like generic Superman esque guy. I not think totally. there's one that is like Batman. Like I think it's like a bat. I'm not Ooh, sure. <laughs> look at this place. Okay. Okay. Fancy city. Very metropolis. Ooh. Whoa. This is, this is our hideout? Is this our hideout? Ooh, place. I, I think it must not. be. It needs to be redecorating. Look, the pipe is leaking. That wire what? is broken. There's farts behind me. What? Hold on, hold on. Can I we mean, look at, let's look at our superhero team and try and figure out why <laughs> we are all together. I was just saying, we which, are, are some are, of us super villains? Can we? It's, it makes more sense if we're all super villains and super people. Oh, we're all villains. All right. Yeah. Say, we're all on the same. We got, we all have the same goals. It's either world domination or saving the world. No, no. You know what it is. it is. Together. It's you start at the beginning. This is your your origin story, and then you either branch between villains or superheroes. It's mm. like that that oh. every young adult I villain see. superhero. We're all in our origin story phase. Catch but then why are we all hanging out together? Because that's how you um, start. Cause we all are well, living in the same dorm room. Gosh. Yeah, and oh, then so you realize, you, then you realize who you are as you, you know, okay. do stuff. So yeah. it's like X Men. We style. we all got it the uh, the acceptance letter to the college. It's about whether or not we all want to pay the bill at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go, house or baby. House or baby. House or baby. Oh, so huh. is the the giant Gundam um, that's spinning the wheel of life for us here? Is he, is he's he a DJ. important to us? Uh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he's, he's a DJ music man. He's like <laughs> Professor X. He's our father. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> is that who Professor X is? Mm -hmm. Our father. Isn't it, he's like everyone's father, right? He's everyone's dad. I mean, he's literally Legion's father, but besides that, I don't know yeah. about it. I mean, he else. acts as everyone's dad. <laughs> he's like, I mean, he's I've gathered got all BDE. these way. He's definitely got I've, big dad energy. Yeah, I've gathered all these mutant orphans together, yeah. and now we're a fucking I mean, family. I feel like he's absent T dad, and I feel like Wolverine is just disappointed dad. Um. So together they're the daddies. Yes, there are two dads. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Wolverine's not disappointed dad. He's just like he's overworked dad. He's overworked dad. Ooh, yes, because okay. Professor X is absentee dad. He he, he is. His, his job is like I I'm taking care of everybody and the, I have like the bigger picture and he doesn't really take care of the details and that's where Wolverine comes in. Yeah, and and Wolverine, you know, it's like so Professor X is the ideas guy. Yeah, but and he, he also, the actual. But the thing is that he might be the ideas guy and he might be psych and everything, but like when he asks like where's my keys, it's literally right, right in front of him. <laughs> he doesn't see that the house is dirty because, you know, he's like, mm -hmm. I'm just too busy. Well, see, I think Professor X is the one who's, like, taking care of all that business. Like, he's the one who makes literally everything in that place run. Wolverine doesn't do crap, but he is uh, attentive to those in need. Like, the, the youths, you know? 
So it's like Wolverine's almost like loving dad, but overworked. And then Professor X is, I see it more as like indulgent grandpa who owns an expensive business. Like, I feel like Professor X though, he's always like, sure, he's keeping that place running, but he's like oh so absentee enough that I feel like that Flame mansion flower? has gotten burned to the ground multiple times because he's just not there enough. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say it can get burned, burned to the ground regardless of if he's there or not. Like, that's just an X Men problem. Uh, it's just a—it's not even probably—it's just a trope at this point. How many it's times? A, it's, a, it's a fire magnet. My goodness. <laughs> I love that idea. He like leaves and then comes back like, oh, gosh, Again? we burned it down this time. Who invited over Johnny Store? Who? Want names? You did. Don't you remember? No, I was. <laughs> oh no, I got drunk and called the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Y'all, uh, moving on from this, but I have two good stories. Hit me okay. with your stories, Anna. They better be X Men related. Yeah, they though. better be better. Um, yeah, they're <laughs> totally X Men related. So, <laughs> every it's it's for those of you that are watching this, it's almost the holidays, Christmassy time, mm. and every year since Ryan and I have moved into our house, we get a Christmas holiday card from a family that thinks that we're a different family <laughs> every single year. This happened for like five years in a row. And so we finally got this family's holiday card. So I've literally watched these children grow up for five years and watch their dogs get older for five years. They have no idea who we are. I have oh no gosh. idea who they are. But now it's like this weird That's ritual. Tradition. Yeah, tradition. Yeah. And I'm like, but then I forget about until we get the next holiday yeah. card the next year. And then I'm like, oh my God, they're still sending us cards. Oh my gosh. It's and amazing. I know, Anna, you're in it for the dogs. I'm in it for the uh, plot. I need to know what's happening to this family. Like, I want to watch this family. Like, one year, like, someone's going to be missing. And I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> no, I, that's... I uh, I love the idea of you trying to derive an entire life story of a oh, family I have. just from these images. <laughs> I already have. They already don't send me enough pictures of their dogs, first of all. They, go, they care way more about their children than their dogs. <laughs> so that's a red flag. And mm -hmm. they're rich because whenever they take a picture, it's always like on a ski trip or like in the mm. snow. <clears throat> or they live in the ice. I, I don't think so. They don't. No, they're they're rich white people. <laughs> I, I just I was waiting for you to be like, that's just, they're white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just rich white I people. I was ready for that. Oh, man. Here, here's my thing. I know that I think that I've mentioned this before, but... If you and your partner out there have children and you're sending out Christmas cards, I want you to take a second and think about how many people out there have never met your children and how many photos are you having of your kids on this Christmas card? Because I have gotten several Christmas cards where it's only photos of the kid and I spend far too long being like, who whose kids F? are these? Who yeah. the F sent me this thing? Yeah, yeah. And it just says like, from the Smiths or something. So then I was like, yeah. which one of my friends has this last name again? Who is this? Um, and anyway. like, oh, it's my second cousin's niece's family. Oh. I will say at least my family, because I've adopted this family now as my own family. <laughs> yes. yes. Like, I'm going to assume they've got to be better than my family, at least, you know. Uh, they at least, they do have pictures of their kids, but they do have a family picture as the main picture. And then like on the backside, they'll have like mm -hmm. the little like collage of sometimes one or two other pictures. So I'm, I'm so invested in this family's life once a year just to see what happens. And I, every yeah. year, every year I'm like, I should have kept every single other card so that I could look back on this fondly. <laughs> for sure. I mean, Anna, I think you it. just found yourself an idea for a game. Boy, like, you there just... is a game in here somewhere. Oh, where I'm sure. <laughs> it's like simulacra, but with the family. Yeah, or like a Professor Layton, but the only evidence you get is like just and then Christmas pictures. And then one year, Anna doesn't get the Christmas card and spends the whole rest of Christmas trying to find this family. It's a Christmas. It's a Christmas game. <laughs> Anyway, I just, <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> it is. It's like this, it, it is so in line with just like things that are bizarre that I love. Like, 
I also love collecting the weird mugs that people give to like Goodwill or like a thrift store oh, that yeah, have yeah. their family picture <laughs> on it or like their child's drawing. Like, who would throw that away? Like, I need to know the story behind this and why this ended up at the Goodwill. You know, you those are my favorite. Them. Those are my favorite and mugs. A span. Listen, I was I was telling a story with my hands. You couldn't see it because obviously there's no <laughs> camera, but the emphasis is there. Oh man, that just makes me think of um, when we were kids. Um, Chad's family. I was always uh, jealous of this, but Chad's family. All the plates that we would eat on whenever we were over there were ones that they had like. Oh, were they fancy drawn holiday on. ones? Like what? No, ones that they had oh. drawn. Like where you, like you would Aww, go and like take a, uh, make a drawing, cute. and then you would like somehow press it into the thing. So. Um, all we would be eating on are like, you know, child's drawings of Transformers and things like that. I love that. that. That's adorable. And they were so cool. Like, as an adult, I still, I yearn for, like, I want those plates. <laughs> I want, yeah. like, the, looks like a kid scribbled in marker all over this thing, a crappy picture of, like, Goku. I want that to be eating off of. Well, Someone, I know what to get you for next stuff. I was going to say, Boom, Jasmine, make some notes right now. We know what price is next stuff. Jasmine's, Jasmine's too good at art. All right, it's gonna be too nice no, looking of a thing. It, will, it needs to we'll look do, like a child. Driven. We'll scan in my old elementary school <laughs> drawings of incredible Crash dummies and Sonic okay, the yes. Hedgehog. If I can get an Ash <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog plate, my heart will go grow three th sizes that day. Like that's gonna be that'd be incredible. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. That needs to be merch that we sell. That needs to be on a mug. <laughs> Does it? The, the childhood collection. And Go then, Frist. And someone out there is buying, like, Incredible Crash Dummies, and one of them's decapitated. Because they're not pleasant drawings most of the time. Oh, I mean, no. they kind of just kept getting killed in various ways. Yeah. I mean, That's I was... That's what dummies are for. That's what they do. My brother and I drew an alphabet book of reptiles. Oh? Cute. So I have that. That was like the when I was going through all of the stuff at our parents' house. Is there this was why you're a, a veterinarian? Of, I mean, yeah, I want I wanted to be the world's best oh. reptile vet at one point in my life, and then I fucked up school so bad that I couldn't do it. I want but, the villain hideout, but the super quarters. But yeah, that was the one thing I kept from from all of the achievements that my parents kept of like you know awards and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I just kept that. I was like, oh, this is cute. Me and my brother drew and made an entire A to Z book. Enjoy. That's cool. Enjoy. Yeah, it was cute. My brother and I would also make Mario levels. We oh, would yeah. draw Mario you just levels. Draw Mario, Mario yeah. platforms. Side yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I know that. I've done that. I did that with Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I told you all before, I, I sent in my my notes to Nick Arcade to please make Mega Man X3, and I gave him all of my uh, ideas for how it would work. That's he adorable. Drew the, drew the levels and drew like the character select screen for the enemies, like, oh yeah. And then of course, you know, never heard back, um, it's fine. <laughs> and Mega Man X3 did end up coming out, so I'm just saying, Capcom, you owe me a check. Yeah, they owe you royalties for 100%. Yeah. Cause you definitely weren't gonna do that on your own. You were like, ah, this price kid, he knows. This kid. Does he okay, know? so my so my other story, which now that I realize that my stories just involve putting myself into other people's lives that they don't know I exist. I'm just like the fly in the wall or on the wall, not in the okay. wall. <laughs> not in the walls, I'm not in the walls. Um, <laughs> Anna's in your walls. walls. Everyone, Everyone stop watch out. and start banging on your walls because Anna's in there. <laughs> if you hear a buzzing noise, oh, it's just man. me, don't worry. Um, so we have these neighbors they're like, I want to say like, not kitty corner, but they're like at a diagonal in our backyard. And one of our neighbors, you've heard me complain about this neighbor because he is so loud. He like t yells into his phone and his phone is on speakerphone. And before I've just been annoyed, so I've just closed the window. But now I'm like outside more with the dogs because Sadie is takes a long time and I've started listening in on the conversations because I'm like if you're gonna be loud I'm gonna I'm gonna live my life and hear whatever you're talking about mm -hmm. and so from what I've gathered is this guy is an indie film producer or wants to be an indie film producer and he's got a brilliant idea for his next film that he's working on. He's got a $500,000 budget but he then asked his friend 
in quotations, to give him Whoa. her free music. Uh, like, uh, I know that, so all the budget is going towards all these other things, but I was wondering if I could get some of your licensed music for my movie. And I, I was, of course, I was outside. I was like, don't do it. Like yelling in the background. <laughs> and, and of course, no one, they weren't paying attention to me because I wasn't really yelling, but I was just talking loudly. And the movie is a horrible idea. It's like... <laughs> It's, so uh, real quick, this is a writer or a producer? No, I think what? a produ I think this okay, man is just sounds like, like a producer. Yeah. Sounds this is, like the this is producer one of the people ideas like, man. I've got a great idea, yeah, and I've that, no idea ideas, how man. to make it. Legitimately, <laughs> wonderful. Those people are legitimately. The best for those. And then like whoever this this woman that he was talking to, <clears throat> or this femme person that he was talking to about wanting the music from her, he was like, "Don't worry, like Jamie's got a role in the movie." Don't tell her, though, because I don't want to spoil it. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. But the movie itself came from a different conversation. And he was telling one of his other friends about how amazing this movie is and how it's never been done. And it's like a movie about the world's tallest person and how, like, oh, their life is so different and how it's how he's the only one or whatever. I was like, this is the most ableist piece of shit I've listened to in a while, y'all. Like, I, mean, I was like, it, hold up, hold up. Because this person obviously does not, like, have any understanding of what that actually means. It's like, this is a great story without actually going into, you know, what that means for those people that have... Uh, I forget. Is it is it gi called people with giantism? Gi is that what gigantism, it is? Gigantism. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I, that was. So this is the five hundred thousand dollar movie that he's making. Mm -hmm. I mean, my thing is like it, it just sounds like like you said it's it's not original. No, I, it's like, not. There's nothing about that that to me like. A, are you gonna do like a biopic on a person who was at one time the tallest person in the world? Right. That could be compelling if it was an interesting person with an interesting life. Is it you're trying to make a joking movie about like, oh, wouldn't this be wild if you were the tallest person? Are you trying to make something like what you're saying, Anna, where it's like, oh, let's really go into this deep and like, oh, let's you sort of, um, what would you even call it? You're, I would you're like kind to of call sensationalizing. Like exploitation. Yeah, yeah, ex yeah, exploiting. Yeah. exploiting. And so uh, it's like, it's looking at each of those roads, none of them are original. <laughs> The only one that could actually really be That's interesting fine. would be the. Uh, oh, I went risky. I went risky. Would be the biopic, but. Yeah. Um, but no, and then if, as far as like the, I've seen that comedy before. You know what it is? It's the first five minutes of Elf, and it's hilarious, and that's all you need. You don't need a whole movie of that. It's just a really big guy in like a really small place. Yeah. The end. Done. Yeah. I love how much this guy is like hyped on this idea. Oh, so he, so hyped. He, he saw, yells into his phone. He yeah. saw Gandalf hit his head in Hobbiton and it was like, let's just a whole movie of that. <laughs> um, Basically. He's like, we're going to use so much forced perspective. Yeah. He watched he watched a documentary on how Lord of the Rings was made. He's like, how can I make a movie with forced perspective? That's what it is. He's like, he never actually saw Lord of the Rings, but he saw the documentary, the behind the scenes. And he's like, exactly. this, this movie made a lot of money though, right? Like, let's oh, just do man. that. <laughs> And it was the perspective that everybody was into, right? Exactly. Not, not the character stories or anything else. <laughs> but yeah, so we will. I can't keep wait us, to hear. Keep us I'm, yeah. I'm so invested in this movie yeah. about him having this giant budget, but he can't afford to pay his music person. Oh. And I was like, do you know how many websites, like, uh, video game developers, like, I've used what? I don't know what. It's not SoundCloud. There's another, like, Pawn 5 has so much oh, oh, yeah. music yeah, yeah, on yeah. there. You can just buy a track for like anywhere from 5 to $15. Like That's just what do what everybody else for does. The first, uh, I don't know, six years before Doze 1 made our, our soundtrack amazingly. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, this, to me, it sounds like a, a shady thing where someone's trying to take advantage of somebody because if you donate your music, yeah. then they never have to pay you any kind of royalties or anything because yeah. you've already given... Uh, an infinite license, essentially. Yeah. Is that um, broccoli? I just was thinking that, Jess. I was like, is that super broccoli? Super broccoli. Superfoods, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. See, it's totally broccoli. Is. It's it super, is super broccoli. broccoli. There, we, we've been talking a lot, but there there is a lot of really cute stuff in the background here. I've, there's been a lot of stuff, little robots and things. People out there watching, you know, we, we podcast while we do this. It's true. But this level is gorgeous. Gr- it is grid. Like, I, yeah. I like it's all grid. the detail on this one, for sure. Anna, I hate can that I ask? I've flown through this level, though. You zipped. Yeah. This house, was this the house that you encouraged me and Jasmine to buy at one point because uh, we would have been backyard so. neighbors? No. No, okay. it's it's not that house. Cause there it's was a, next to that house. There was this grand scheme at some point, y'all, where me and Anna would have been the um, the home improvement backyard neighbor situation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, I was so excited oh for gosh. that. I was gonna what buy was my stepping name? stool and everything. <laughs> I had no idea. Wilson? What is it? Wilson. Maybe something like that. Yeah. You only oh ever saw goodness. his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Love that. And the hat. Gosh. I was gonna I was have to buy the, a fishing hat. So I was thinking this the other day about how sad it is that like two of the major TV uh, parental figures that I grew up watching are like mm-hmm. right wing nonsense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I was thinking about it, I was like, oh yeah, Tim Allen. Right? Like, there's a reason that you don't really see him in too much anymore and why all the shows are kind of like always certain ways. He's very conservative. Yeah. Um, and so it's like, oh, that's a little disappointing. And then there's Roseanne. Uh, and like, yeah. it's one of those ones where it's like, man, we watch Roseanne as a family. Like, that was a huge thing. And then, like, you see the kind of stuff she says now and it's like wild. And I'm like, those <laughs> were like my surrogate parents. Right. <laughs> for a long time. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> well, and all the like the good values of those family shows from the '90s. Like, if you watch them, like they all have really good like episodes on how to deal with a whole bunch of different Aww. like family things and growing mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. things. And like, you feel like if that actor like was in that role, they would have to understand. They did they never learn nothing? No, they no, learned they nothing. They weren't listening to the words that were no, coming out of their mouths. No, they weren't. But no, you're right. It's always about like compassion and friendship mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. caring and thoughtfulness and charity. Like that's always the themes is all these like positive things. And then for them to turn around and be like, yeah, but don't let those people in the country. Right. Like yeah. they say something like that. and You go like, whoa, how did you get to there from there? Yeah. Anyway, so no, I guess we, the, there was no point in that other than you mentioned Tim Allen. <laughs> you don't you don't remember the very, you know, the very memorable episode of Home Improvement where he solves the border crisis by building his own <laughs> wall? You don't remember that? <laughs> I don't. You're right. Although I'm sure if I go back and watch, there's probably a lot of stuff in those where I'm kind of like, oh, wow, they were saying that. But that's just <laughs> yeah, I actually thing. wonder how much Home Improvement holds up. It probably doesn't. Not. <clears throat> probably not. Um, so there's this amazing creator that I follow. His name is Louis Zong. Um, uh-huh. he's a, he's a like storyboard artist. He does a lot of like concept arts. He's worked in the animation industry and stuff like that. And he's also a musician and he's been doing more like freelance stuff lately. Mm-hmm. Every year <laughs> he puts out the bat signal saying, I need people to submit themselves singing a Christmas no- uh, carol. Okay. But you have to sing it as a toad. <laughs> as like oh, a mushroom like from toad? Mario, right? From, from Mario. Yeah. Oh so, my god, oh. I could do this a hundred percent. It's the yeah, virtual yeah. toad choir, and he just Love did it. that recently for Silent Night, and he just released it. Oh my and god. And I watched it, and it gave me that that goosebump frisson because it was so yeah. cute. And they're all just like, (laughs) oh my God, I need this in my life. Also, I need to, everyone loves my toad voice, so I need to do this. Next year, next year, you gotta do it. Next year, you send me the link, Jazz, and I'll do it. He also animated it, so it's like Toad is the baby Jesus and (laughs) Peach, Mario, and Luigi. And then in the the sky is every toad angel singing Silent Night. (laughs) Oh my god, that's a thing of beauty right there. It really is. That almost makes me want to believe in uh, Christmas again. Yeah. Anna, this is the one that grew your this heart is, This sizes. is the one that... Yeah. Yeah. All you needed was Toad. And it's how true. many children do you have? How did this happen? Two. I got so many surprise babies. How did this happen? I have not been paying attention. Listen. It's because you were enthralled with my story about living other people's lives. Evil. It's true. Evil villain Willy Wonka doesn't know how to use protection. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where so to go. we're learning that which is worse than evil, evil, evil Willy Wonka. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. 
<laughs> wrong, oh, wrong browser. My goodness. <laughs> you were looking at that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's seeing that it's Willy starting Wonka. To no, it's starting yeah. to replay again. Here you go, Silent Night, Anna. Oh, my goodness. I'll look at it after this. I've, I Now I want to look up... Because I know those those websites have to exist where you can put, like... Put your child's drawing on a plate. Put your child. I'm just oh, gonna yeah. Google that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Child's. Yeah. Oh, they definitely exist. Drawing a, on a plate. You know what I want on a plate what? is your picture of um from which picture? <laughs> the one that's what, my own children. That says celibacy sucks. Celibacy sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you want that one? I want that one. I thought you were gonna put that on merch or whatever. Well, first, no, for Shiki Yugi and I want or or. Link in Jenko jeans. <laughs> I need it? emo Link in Jenko jeans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> was this during our uh, our draw from memory thing? No, or no, no, no. This no, from, this is from my no. high school life. Anna literally uh, brought over every single picture they found from uh, when uh, they were helping their parents move out. Uh, yeah, all, right. it's all just the art, all the high school art, and it's just the most angstiest anime. It is it collection. Is. It's beautiful. It, what was the urban legend of Zelda? <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. You had the fishnets, the Jenko jeans, the, you have the to. chain wallet. Yeah. The All long of, chain wallet. I'm going to say of. more than 50% of my friends had the chain wallet. I never had one. I never knew anybody that had, but I drew it all the time. I, yeah, I had a chain wallet for a time, and the chain broke very quickly because those chains were made for 13 year olds, so they were not made with quality. Man, the catch on stuff. No, I never Dear. never had a chain wallet, and I don't know if anyone I knew had a chain wallet. I knew a lot of people that had chain wallets. Y'all, I found it. The original <laughs> makeit.com. Make it it's, a, it's from oh. it's from Tejas Price. Look at that. Look at that. Make a plate. It's like make a wish, but less mm -hmm. good. I mean, less, yeah. Uh, How it works. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go through the process. All right. Wow, they actually have like you can do it. Hold on, this looks like a good idea for a charity stream. Oops. How it works? Okay. Go on. Tell me more. Game or game? Not game. You're not a game. Nine nine nine, Jazzy. Nine nine nine. Okay. I am the okay. multiverse guardian. <laughs> Is this going to be wow. a new thing, Anna, where we learn about the unlimited earning potential of plates? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so step one, prepare your location. Gather your materials needed for the program. Oh, I, if school-wide. Our program is just within four people. Step two, plan your Small activity school. or event. Select a date. <laughs> this is telling me how to project management? Is, is Excuse this, me? Is this where we learn that we can only do this if we formally become a school? So we have to become I don't know. a school Some to school. make these plates? Guess right, what, viewers? <laughs> You're yeah. all our, of our children now. Ooh. We're going to do a Parsec class. We're going to make it work. Yeah. I mean, we can't be any worse than some of the teachers out there, right? I think we can be pretty worse. Like, I, I do not have a lot of faith in my ability to teach a subject matter that will benefit a, a young child that much. I mean, I'm, Price, I'm a great teacher, so. Price, I, I think mean, you I, can I talk to, to do some it things. professionally, yeah. so I could do it. So me and you are going to be the ones teaching. <laughs> Jazz, you could, you could teach our class. I don't know if I have the patience for that. Jazzy don't want to teach. Jazzy can art. Jazzy don't want to teach. You just, well, here's what you do. You you're in our class, but you're like, here's some art things children Ooh. now have fun. No, what uh, we're doing okay. is we're watching movies the ja entire time. Jasmine is there a lesson go. on a VHS. The so it's Jasmine has recorded themselves <laughs> on an old VHS tape. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're watching Moana. There you go. But what about... the entire time. No other movies? Well, I mean, we'll go through all the movies. All the movies? Well, I mean, it's a... All the Moanas. What is it, like a <laughs> six-week course? We'll watch a different movie. I'm trying to think of what were some of the most pointless movies that I was okay, forced wait, wait, to watch wait, wait. as a student. Hold on. If school-wide, identify a program coordinator who will be in charge of collecting class orders. All right, who's, who's going to be this? How does this relate to plates? <laughs> I'm spinning. I, I just happened. How does this relate to plates? Gather our supplies. I'm reading the steps. <laughs> Communicate to parents and collect orders. So ridiculous. Look at the walls. Look, it's got like the... 
It's like the Hall of Iron. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Suits, you know? Do I sell I your house or farm. get a snail farm? I'm gonna get Always a snail gotta farm. Always gotta get that snail farm. I've never made a movie about snail farms before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mail in your order? What is this, 1980? Yes, because that was the last time anyone bothered to do this, Anna. <laughs> oh, what? But you save a dollar when you place your order online. The website's from the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, does the website also have, like, an embed for hamster dance on it as well? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> 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 the do, 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 do. Do, do, At the do, bottom, do, it's like, do, sign do. my guest book. Yeah. Is, there a, do, 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 is there a dancing do, 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 baby do, 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 on the website? I hope so. When we talked about hamster dance in something not too long ago, I did edit in a clip of it so people could understand. I love it. Because the okay. youths don't know. Don't know. But one day they'll, that, they'll find that it. That reminds be like, me about you know what happened yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, what, with your but candy? With my candy. You'll have to watch how, how, does, how is it actually pronounced? Gets. Gets. It's pronounced oh, gets. Oh, I saw. I oh. saw. Long story. I'm not going to force anyone to go like look down the terrible path of don't, like don't fogs do it. and stuff like that. Long story short, Anna has a candy that basically says Goatsy on it. Mm -hmm. Don't look up Goatsy if you don't know. It's from the old, the old wild, no, don't, wild don't, west don't teach internet. Anna, don't don't look up anything you don't know. Yeah. Anna, don't take my crown. Anna took a crown. I'm, I'm taking your well, snails. Hold on. We can't have that as our lesson. The, 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 we, everyone looks up things they don't know online. Just specifically, we need, don't we need look to up bleep this. It out. Bleep it <laughs> out. Don't look up. Don't look up. Yeah, the things that Anna mentions specifically. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's specifically. That's the Here's what it is. Here's what it is. If Anna <laughs> talks about something that was on the internet when we were younger, yes, do not go there. But yes. what if it's caramel dancing? I don't know. Even I don't know what that is. I don't know what oh that is. Oh my god! And I assume it's a naked Ted Danza. No, it's just it's, it, Carmel Dancing is a song that had lots of like anime characters doing like the back and forth wiggle with their hands this like is, clapping. Is that what they're called? No one should be That's seeing Carmel this. That's Carmel Dancing. No one be seeing yes. This. I I didn't know what that was. I just, oh yeah, my god! I was. love that song. <laughs> it's so no. good. Still to this day. No. Is it? Yeah. I think. Oh, I, I need you, you to. Give you money left and right. Jazz, I think we need to do a Baldur's Gate 3 caramel dancing. I think you guys need to finish just a single run of Baldur's Gate 3. We are! <laughs> we're working on it. You just made That's me throw right. my cat, Ash. I, okay. What? I was trying to pick up Hippo and she slipped out of like my hand. I feel like people have already done this. They might have, but I haven't seen it. So that four doesn't exist. Oh my goodness. Again, basically what Price originally said, just don't listen to anything. <laughs> I, what I was going to say is just like when Anna talks about something in reverence, like from the internet past, it is safer to not investigate yep. than to investigate. Because for every caramel dance, there's three or four horrific things I wish I could wipe from my mind. <laughs> the internet back then was what 4chan Lawless. is now. Or what Elon wants Twitter to be. It's like yeah. only the worst stuff is what was ever. Well, it was like it was equal amounts interesting stuff and worst stuff. Whereas there's and there was no filter. Like no, it, the no. difference was like things either felt like academic and put together and like very deliberate, like the sites where you actually would learn things and have like information on them. It's like oh yes, here's the you follow this list and everything, and then any other random ass page on the internet was like, hey, have you seen what it looks like for <clears throat> insert horrific <laughs> act or disgusting act or both together? Or price, you just get cute hamsters dancing. Yeah, again. Okay, price Jazz, just though, seeing the, the negative exception. of the old stuff. I've, yes, I've seen the negative and Anna keeps bringing the negative back up. <laughs> but but Jazz, hold Anna. on, hold on. I could have my celibacy sucks art on a fleece blanket for you. A I love Sherpa that. fleece. I love that blanket. There you go. Um, oh, speaking of fleece blankets, did you guys hear about the um, this merch site just completely shutting down and going bankrupt? Oh, so a bunch of I think big influencers were using. I can't remember the name of the merch. SCP. Site. Yeah, I, but like uh, yeah. one of the big influencers, they had just ordered a bunch of blankets, the Sherpa blankets. And they invested probably a couple thousand dollars into them, and because the site bankrupt and leaving everybody in limbo, they have no way of selling them. Yeah, it yeah. really sucks. And it really stay sucks. away from my crowns. What? I, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. I'm, I'm mostly sorry. <laughs> 
But no, yeah, it's really messed up. And I it seems also, like it just happened overnight, right? Yeah. There wasn't any communication. There wasn't any kind Nothing. of like wind down. It just like. Well, it's one of those things where overnight. I do hope that like what should happen is they get sued and the customers get their money mm. back. I think yes. what they're banking on is the fact that all of their customers are kind of like, you know, smaller content creator type people that they're not going to have the money to like sue them, right. basically. Right. Mm-hmm. And that the people who made the orders, the people who are going to be upset the most, right? The because the, mm-hmm. this isn't like you're buying bulk orders, right? This is like well, I think in particular, demand, right? I think that in particular, the one big content creator that we we had linked, um, he had, he had essentially warehoused like a huge, so yeah. he had invested his own uh, money those... to warehouse a big bulk thing. Gotcha. Well, I mean, some of those orders you have to buy in bulk in order to sell it. Mm-hmm. Like, like um, we we have the our, opportunity of yeah. buying like these really fancy things, but we have to at, have a minimum order of like 300. Yeah, so, I guess my assumption was that people had already started putting in orders, like no, customer no, customers. No, it was, not it yeah, was it. all in the process. Yeah, okay. and I, I think that a lot of customers did get screwed in this as well. I assume so, they must Anna? have. But, um, oh, look at the crocodile! I'm just going to this big yeah, hole Yeah, don't, don't you sky. steal my heart. But I think the bigger thing is... Heart. This is a company that was warehousing a bunch of See, stuff, so everyone that was warehousing you were stuff gotcha, got screwed. Gotcha, gotcha. I was trying to steal your gotcha. heart, but I don't need to steal it because I already have your heart, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how'd it go? How did it go? I have no idea. I really have not been what paying happened? enough attention. Yeah, I flew I, I through it so fast. I think Jazzy may have won. I don't know. No, I don't no, know. I could be. I mean, Enna's in a pretty good spot. Enna stole one of Jazzy's crowns that yeah. I think really kind of <laughs> shifted things. <laughs> Anna had a lot more um, icons too. I think Anna won. Yeah, oof. Anna's got it. What? I you, win? you won this for sure. I'm looking at personalized blankets. I, say, I gave. <laughs> I think I gave Anna at least three hundred <laughs> over the course. That's of the true. Past you couple. did. You did give <laughs> like, me a lot of money. Yeah. I just flew through it so fast. I'm really upset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That does it. It does it. Oh wow! You did it. Anna. Anna. You won. Thank you. you did it. I should have more. Next time we play, I gotta tell more stories about my neighbor. <laughs> you do. Hey, you do. I mean, I do want to know how that goes. <laughs> I do too. I am invested, not money-wise, but I need people to see. People in the comments down below, let us know. Do you want to hear more? Yeah. I know the answer, Everyone's but like, I want to see the comments. <laughs> yeah, God, there's so oh, many. They want to. Oh, they want to, and you know it. Oh, did did y'all see that on the screen? New outfit vote. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a thing happening right now. I don't know if it'll be happening by the time this episode goes out. But basically, one of the superheroes they're going to make just publicly free available without having to buy the DLC. Oh, that's cool. So they're having people that own it vote on like your favorite. Mm -hmm. Neat. Um. Anyway, y'all, that's the new DLC from Game of Life 2. Let us know your thoughts. What, what, what was your favorite little bit of the map? Or were you even looking at it? Were you just enthralled with the stories of the backyard neighbor's terrible movie plan? <laughs> let, let us know. Down in this comments below. Anyway. Anyway, y'all, with that, we've been stumped. I've been Ashram by Empress and Jasmine. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.